round two. These are going into both ends on the SEX Pro. They're in the front. Mixed thoughts on how they operate, okay? They don't roll smooth, but when they get that physical hook, it's amazing. So let's see what we got. Let's go. In case you guys missed the first video, these right here. Now, the way this works is you're wanting to get a physical hook on your obstacle on your ledges. So, and there's nothing in here. The tire can get all the way up in here, especially a good gummy tire. It'll get right up into here and get a physical hook. In the first video, I had one set, so I moved them from the front to the back, back to the front, and kind of had mixed reviews on this. But let's try all four. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's look at the bumps. Oh, that is horrible. Hey, if these things are illegal, illegal, whatever, you'll know if somebody's running them. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Okay. We don't have any direct sunlight, so maybe we can see a little bit more. The overdrive or underdrive is on. So let's see here. There we go. It did fold. Once it gets past the peaks, then it really starts working. And you can almost see it lurch forward when it reaches the peak. So let's see how they turn. I mean... I'm assuming they'll turn okay. Okay, I'm all up into the bumper right there, which it was doing that before, but hey, tire side roll is good. No issues there at all. Need to clearance that bumper a little bit. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Wow, that is horrible. Now, it looks like if you're crawling, you're okay, but let's try, let's try some throttle. Man. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they like to hop, don't they? It's still pretty interesting to see them work, though. And I like the fact that they can physically grab stuff. I mean... It's just, I don't think they're quite, I don't know. I don't think they're quite there yet. Which begs the question, will they ever be there? And I don't know. It's interesting though. I mean, try something different. They got a good physical hold right there, which you're already kind of over the obstacle, but let's try the drop over here. Let's try fall time. Man, they, they really do hook and grab stuff, don't they? Going really slow, I think we're okay, but bouncing this thing around to try to get up something, that doesn't, that doesn't work. Okay, we're good to go there. All right, let's go try something else. Cliffhanger. I, I, uh, when it comes to climbs like this, I really feel that regular inserts are your better option. But in the rear occasion that you really need a physical hold like what we just got right there, I think these do have their pros. I'm just kind of thinking there's more cons to them than pros at this point. Uh, we're going to be able to rotate this. I doubt it. Man, that is so close. It is going to rotate it. It did get it. All right, look, watch this. Look at that. I know all I'm doing are climbs for the most part, but that's kind of what we go for, right? To see what you can climb up. Ooh, that was a good one. Got a hook at the front left and rear right. Let me get that, the hook right there. It's trying, but I'm missing it down here at the bottom. Let's go see. 
Oh, so now it wants to get the hook and go. All right, let's see what we got going here. See, got a physical hook going right there. Okay, so now we're just really kind of messed up here on the rear. Oh, it got the hook. See that front link all up in the way there? There we go. <laughs> Golly. All right, so the back, you can see it doing everything it can to physically grab that rock. Oh, it almost did. Good physical grab right there. Nice. Twin ridges, anybody? Let's see. Oh. Let's see here. Wow, look at the wrinkle right there, dudes. Let's see what's going on on the other side. Looking down at it. Right here. Nice pull. That one didn't do a whole lot there, did it? I think I messed up. Uh, yeah, I think that back end is gonna fall off. No, it did it. And look at that tire. Usually when the tires get like that, they do not complete this. Look at that hold. Look at that. Dude, got the same hold up front too. I did this one earlier. Physical hold right there, doing good. Now with that overdrive on, it kind of makes that front end kind of work a little bit. Now granted, this is probably like a, the ideal situation to get a hook, honestly. But <laughs> it's hooking. Now it won't make the top due to the skid and all that, but wow, look at that. These things, they have, they have some benefits, don't they? See if I can throttle it. I'd like to actually get up this if possible. I'm gonna go right here. I don't wanna start from the bed or the board. There we go. So the back is trying to get a good hook right there. That front is trying. That front is absolutely getting that contact, but it doesn't quite have an, oh, look at that. The back end got it, look at that. One other way to drive is on your sidewalls and how do these drive on the sidewalls? I don't know yet. But let's find out. I'm assuming they're gonna drive just like anything with the sidewall. Looking good, yeah, that's, that seems to be about normal. Yeah, that was normal. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering about ramp performance. I don't think they're gonna do very good here. Yeah, you can actually see it every. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, not the best for this at all, are they? 
they are bumpy. But dudes, when they hook, when they get that physical hook, as I'm calling it, dude, they just pop the truck right up. Um, these are on the website. They are sold. Um, if you get them and they work for you, great. If you get them and they don't work for you, well, find some place that they do work because these are kind of experimental, but you want to experiment too, don't you? They are on the website and you can order these. So, um, you guys saw everything I did, man. Uh, everywhere there's an edge or a ledge to grab, these are awesome. Anything smooth going up and over, not so much. If your terrain is just really jagged, really jagged, jagged, these might be the perfect thing for you. If your area is river rock, smooth surfaces, getting up that, I don't order these. They will not work for you for what you're driving. It all depends on your, your terrain now. So, But regardless, they are on the website if you guys want to check them out. So go do that. So check that description. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. And I want you all to know, first of all, if you're still watching, thank you so much. And I'm already working on version two. There's something here that I've got to find. I know I can find it. If version two does what I think, you'll see a lot of them. But regardless, this right here is on the website if you want to give it a shot. Guys, have a great day. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.